project is about animal rights. So when you think of animal rights, what comes to your mind? Animal abuse. Animal abuse and like the use of like um, makeup on animals, like on monkeys. Now they're allergic on monkeys. Yeah, like cosmetics. Like that. So, basically my project, I'm going to talk about what the project is, the process, um, my art, and revisions I could have made, and what I learned. Okay, so in APUSGov, we're basically in the beginning of the year, we have to pick a yearly activism project we want to focus on. Um, I chose animal rights, and basically at um, every unit we learn about a new topic in government. At the end of the unit, we have to do a unit art and an essay, basically about how your yearly activism project connects to what we learn in the unit. So, um, yeah, basically, that's it. Um, so my art. So this is my art. Uh, basically, I did it in Google Drawing. Um, here, I presented the problem, which is basically the government chooses not, okay, so I chose SeaWorld and how they abuse animals. And um, the government chooses not to regulate SeaWorld because SeaWorld lobbies and campaign finances to get less federal regulation. So basically, SeaWorld like, buys its way into the government so that the government doesn't have to regulate it as well. So basically, this is the effect, basically. Um, for example, this whale Tilly just recently died due to like, um, um, like, yeah. It basically died in performances of SeaWorld like due to overperforming and like bad conditions. And basically at the bottom here, I presented the solution, which is to stop funding the adventure parks and hotels. Um, so my revisions. Um, something I could have done better is probably um, do different, um, like elaborate on it, like make a series of different like companies and the different types of animals that they use, like cosmetic testing and like for, for that stuff. Um, also make it like tactile, so either like a painting or a drawing and like make a book of it, like of different, of like all the different companies and what they do and how the government doesn't regulate that. So basically what I learned is that animal rights isn't really a big concern of the government. It's really only like about one or two laws on the federal government basically like protecting animal rights. However, there's like a lot of interest groups that are fighting for animal rights and these groups continue to grow and expand. So basically like they do the same thing as like SeaWorld does. They like lobby and campaign finance for animal rights while like these big companies, they have the advantage because they have more money to lobby and things like that. Any questions? Um, I have a question. Um, why did you choose this topic of animal rights? Um, it was a topic like, that I was interested in, like, even before the past. Um, like, I was doing research on it, um, reading a lot of articles, and, like, um, searching up a lot of interest groups and what they believe in and why they believe in it. Out of all animals, why did you choose sea world with a whale? Like, like, did it catch your attention more? Yeah, because it was something that like just recently happened, so like it was good to like include like right now because yeah, like it was like current news, so like it's more interesting to like somebody like presenting it now because like it's just been like announced. Since what What was the current news that was just announced? Oh, that the whale Tilly it just died in Sea World after like thirteen years. And do you know about what policy they just changed up? Okay. I want to look into that. Because was, that was last week. It was news on that. So 
basically, SeaWorld is a privately run and privately funded like um, company. So they get their like they don't get their money from the government. So with that said, they still have like regulations from the government. The so like they basically the government's a regulate stuff. But if they when they lobby and they campaign finance, the government doesn't really pay attention to what they do, and they get less regulation. So they like can abuse animals more. Like they can basically like they have the upper hand. Like, they can do really what they want. Um, what interest group? What interest group do you connect to the most? Um, I guess PETA because they like. It's more um, like about all of, like different types, like um, using animals like in circuses or like zoos, cosmetics and food, and like it's basically like all around, like not just specifically one type of animal or one company. It's like about everything. So I know that you said that um, you were once a lobbyist for the government. Mm -hmm. But if you had a chance to do the project again, like what specifically would you elaborate? What would you change? I think, um, like specific, you know, so basically the companies they lobby and they campaign finance, probably like a specific time, like when they lobby and when they campaign finance, and like the turnout of that, like just be like more elaborate on like, yeah. Uh, do you try? Do you try and avoid like uh, products and events that that abuse animals, like in cosmetics use? Abuse animals with animal testing, you try and avoid that? Yes. 